review the conflict resolution case study assignment guide very briefly hoping that this is helpful to you. Whether you have been in healthcare a year or 30 years, you have experienced conflict, you have witnessed conflict in the workplace setting. And the purpose of this assignment is to learn how to apply conflict resolution theory and communication principles to a real life situation. Hopefully so when you encounter conflict again, you are better equipped to handle it in a more productive and professional manner. This is a formal paper written in third person, so all the usual APA issues apply, title page, level headings, and scholarly references. This is, should be three to five pages and in a third person voice. It is expected that you will use at least four scholarly references to explain both your effective communication and conflict resolution theories. There are a host of resources for you here on PAL, but there are hundreds if not thousands of resources in the business literature. As many of you know, I uh, had Dr. Terry Valiga um, for a professor at Duke, and she encourages nurses to think broadly and read widely. So do not be afraid to tap, step into the uh, business literature on the internet, Forbes.com or Businessweek.com, and just search for conflict or conflict resolution or workplace conflict or whatever description you want to apply, you will end up with many, many resources that are, are scholarly and, um, and filled with great uh, information. So don't be afraid to uh, explore a little bit. The backbone of the assignment is going to be on the third side, which we will look at in a minute. Please do not refer to anyone in your paper by name. Use pseudonym initials with descriptions. And as you can see, case study number one is a healthcare worker to health to patient and or family conflict. And case study number two is a healthcare worker to healthcare worker conflict. What I first um, suggest you do is go to the third side website. So I've got that pulled up here, and this is the home page. This is from the Global Negotiation Project at Harvard University, and I strongly suggest that you look at the overview, the assumptions, and the skills of the third side approach. After that, go to Apply 3S to My Situation, and here are the four steps of the uh, conflict analysis that you will be describing in your paper. And those are um, listed here. After you write your introduction, your paper should include these level headings. So you're going to describe the conflict in great detail like I would be looking at it over your shoulder. You're going to paint a picture describing the who, what, when, and where. Leave with a clear story about the conflict resolution. And then you're going to use these uh, steps to analyze the conflict. So the four steps are these steps of the 3S situation. Reviewing your cost. You can use this guide to come up with some ideas, but you will not put this guide in your paper. You're just going to use it to evaluate and measure all the different kinds of costs that are involved with a conflict, and then go through all the steps. In the diagnose the situation step, this is where you're really going to pick it apart. Why did it happen? So here is where you're going to include, and it's in the rubric, 
the conflict theory and communication principles. Why did something happen? What barriers were there? Was it a intergenerational conflict? Was it a um, cultural conflict? What exactly happened? So you're going to use these theories to diagnose your situation. In the action step, in everyday actions, not every conflict is resolved. And so you're going to come up with what would have been a great resolution had something happened. This also may tie back into the roles. Maybe you had some great people in your scenario that stepped forward and helped resolve the conflict in terms of being a bridge builder or a mediator or a healer or whatever, but maybe you didn't. So maybe you want to say in the ideal world, you know, it would have been great if someone was a witness paying attention to the escalation and had stepped in and, um, you know, arbitrated the situation earlier or after the fact, you know, really took a step towards being a healer and, and repairing injured relationships, that kind of thing. So maybe the conflict never got resolved, but you can discuss what would have been the ideal situation to um, have happen if uh, the conflict did not get resolved. Again, part of your um, paper is a conclusion, so you want to wrap up the uh, conversation and what the scenario, um, how it all played out. Going back to the rubric again, please, please, please make a point of paying attention, using this as a checklist, write your paper, and then say, Okay, is my paper organized? Did it include an introduction and a conclusion? Check. I've done that. Is my situation clearly described? Check. So make sure you have all the steps because students in the past turn in papers and they have pieces missing and they lose large points or chunks of points um, without even realizing it. I strongly recommend you write your draft and then it uh, let it rest for the day, return and read it out loud and make sure all your thoughts flow smoothly if you've included all elements of the rubric. If needed, you can use the TLCC for writing assistance and or APA format. So I hope this brief overview has been helpful to you and as always you can contact a faculty member if um, you have difficulty with the assignment I would be more than happy to review a rough draft.